Soaking wet and exhausted, the afternoon's expedition arrived in the village of Boro Boro at two in the morning and were given a hut to hang their hammocks by the surprised villagers. But spirits revive in the dawn. So how's the water here, Bill? I mean, is there any worry about Giardia or any other problem? Basically, it's a good free-flowing stream. And, you know, this thing's full of caracoy fish that, uh, I mean, fecal material, for example, is just eaten immediately. Yeah. Like you should. Yeah. Right? Can't believe such a nice place, huh? The Embera Indians living in this village moved into the area from inland Colombia after the original peoples were destroyed by the Spanish conquest. Their age-old practices of slash and burn agriculture, now confined to the relatively small area of their reserve, will eventually deplete the poor forest soils. But for now, small villages like Boro Boro are basically healthy and self-sufficient. Mounting pressures from the outside, however, are giving them greater cause to worry about their future. Herman Casamas is an Embera Indian like the people from Boroboro, but his home village is hundreds of miles inland. Juliana Piraza is a Waunana Indian from much further south on the San Juan River, which has undergone the most deforestation and has been polluted by gold mining. Both are representatives of the local native organization, Orewa, which unites the two Indian tribes of the Chocó. They're on hand for a meeting between the villagers and the visitors. My name is Francis, and I am from Europe. I want to know what the Indian community's vision of the forest is. I'm interested in knowing what the real importance of the forest is for these communities. The Wanan Indian Cosmovision says we have a mission that was entrusted to us by the Supreme Being to take care of what's been given to us. That is why each tree in the forest must be respected. That is why we must conserve the animals that dwell on and within the earth. Our lives depend on this. De nosotros. Pero cuando personas extrañas, cuando, cuando llegan otros pensamientos extraños. But when outsiders, when alien ideas reach the Indian communities, eliminating this wealth, they are eliminating us. We deal with each other economically in such a way that we don't use power like in other cultures, where one person exerts power over others que otras culturas ambicionan sobre otros hombres. The Little Mutata River that nourishes this community is threatened by a local hydroelectric project. Further south in the Chocó, three huge dams to be built with international funding, threatened to flood many kilometers of forest and tribal homelands, including part of a national park. We understand that you weren't consulted on most of the programs that were proposed for the Pacific Coast. When roads and dams are planned, the Indian communities are almost never consulted. What concerns us the most is that international governments like Canada, the United States, and other countries may not be insisting that, in exchange for monies to build such and such a project, the Colombian government must consult the people who live in the region. This consultation is not happening, and that's why we're so worried. Despite the problems looming in its future, for the moment, Boro Boro remains relatively untouched in its forest, which is still the center of its life. 
Oiga, si sí hay aquí el uno. Sí, aquí, el... aquí no. Aquí no. 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 Aquí y... el bojo. There is no outside medical help, for example. The shaman serves as doctor, and all his medicine has to come from the forest. Se pone encima y y con ese dentro como como quince minutos uno se calma. Ay. So they cut this and make it get a a potion out of the base stem and topically apply it to the head for headaches. He says in about 15 minutes it goes away. Yeah, I've not heard of that. Dura como un mes. Sí. Yes. Look at the fruit. Here's a ripe one. Ah, like a coconut. Small coconut. Yeah, heavy. It's an endemic of the Choco. It's cultivated in other parts, but it comes from this part of the Colombia. That's something that's never caught on in the exterior. A good resource for the choco. Easy. It could be sold in in Europe, for instance. Yes. The I taste is very very interesting. Imagino. <laughs> so you can <laughs> make somebody sleep there with that, huh? It's something very relaxing. That's a really interesting looking passiflora. <laughs> ah. Francis Halley has helped revolutionize the study of rainforests. He invented a giant inflatable raft that perches high up on the treetops. Here, scientists can live while they study the life of the forest canopy. I love the undergrowth, and there are, there are plenty interesting things in the undergrowth. But, but when, when you look at the top of the forest, you immediately realize that almost everything occurs in the canopy. <laughs>